in Narnia, there's this idea of a world that connects all other worlds. And there are these shallow pools that you can dive into, and then you're in another world and you dive back out. I've been reading a lot of Narnia to my son lately. You could think about what we're doing is making that wood between the worlds that connects the world to photos from many, many different web pages that are woven whole. Life Labs really started as a vision for getting products out there quickly, doing rapid prototypes, new ideas, new technology, and releasing them rapidly and responding rapidly. We decided we'd try to prototype something. So we took some photo collections, and eventually something clicked that looked very compelling. The people in Live Labs, the Sea Dragon team, got really fired up, and they've been working day and night to turn this into something that really scales up to all of the world's photographs. Live Labs wants to advance the state of the art for the internet, both in terms of building better products, but also in terms of doing better research. Photosynth in some ways is a poster child for the sort of things that we want to do within Live Labs. It is a really fine example of a project that has really interesting potential in terms of its scientific impact, its technology impact, its product impact, its business impact, and its you know, strategy for how we think the internet will evolve. Photosynth is also a really great story in terms of how lots of different things can come together in a short period of time to do something that's really groundbreaking. It would not have been possible without participation from MSR, from the PICS team, from the University of Washington, from Virtual Earth. All of these different teams were instrumental in being able to, to, to produce the technology for you that we have today. We start with some collections that I had originally gathered on my travels, and what you do is you have the computer figure out how the photos relate to each other. You're basically flown into a three-dimensional world which is full of photographs, and you can click on individual photos that look very interesting, or you can take like an automated tour where someone's pre-scripted it, so they basically show you the things, the historic buildings you want, or the good aspects of the motorcycle you're trying to buy. So you can do it either more like a slideshow or more like a computer game. And so it's very much like floating in a world full of images, and people generally figure it out without any instructions. One web page that has a picture of a hotel that I once stayed in, I can now dive into that picture and be there. And if I see uh, some other venue that's interesting on that town square, I can dive into that picture, come out on the, uh, the web page that that image took place in. The interesting part, of course, is what could happen if all of my images were indexed with everybody else's. If I just have one particular shot of a place, I don't know exactly where it is, I could actually find out where that was taken, who else photographed it. I could walk around that environment and look at some other angles. Once we can take all of the world's photos and organize them in 3D, you can now navigate the streets of Paris and then go into a photosynth store of a particular handbag store in Paris, right? Or preview a restaurant and see what the chefs are doing when they're cooking. The ultimate dream is that we're going to merge the real world and the virtual world into a kind of experience where it's totally seamless. So the idea of using your own photo collection as a kind of entry point into the world. Uh, every one of your photos that's taken in an environment with any kind of recognizable landmarks becomes like a wormhole that you can jump through and, uh, and use to explore everybody else's photos who uh, have also been there and you've taken pictures in that environment. That's, that's a pretty powerful idea. Live Labs isn't necessarily about what Live Labs is capable of doing. It's more about what Live Labs can do in conjunction with other people from both within Microsoft and outside of Microsoft in terms of partnership. To do things that in some sense that are bigger than anyone.